Do you manage a workforce of employees that work in shifts? Let's optimize their schedules to improve service quality and employee satisfaction. I've helped many organizations automate their shift scheduling. Typically, afterwards, they could accept 50% more time off requests. That means that their work schedules fit the social lives of their employees much better. It's a win-win situation. In the employee shift scheduling problem, we need to assign employees to shifts. These employees could be nurses, doctors, uh, security guards, waiters, uh, people working at a hotel. It doesn't really matter. If they are not working nine to five and we need to choose which shift they work on, we probably have a shift scheduling problem and it's not that easy to solve. Let me show you. So for example, here, we have a number of unassigned shifts that we need to assign to, to employees. For example, here we have an, an assigned shift at from 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. Here we have an unassigned shift from 2 p.m. till 8 p.m. And both of these shifts actually also have skill requirements. To be able to do the first shift, you need to have the anesthetic skill. To be able to do the second shift, you need to do, have the cardiology skill. Um, as you can see, as we now look at our, our employees, our list of employees, we will see a number of employees such as Amy King, Amy Smith, and so forth. And each of these has a number of skills. So for example, Amy King has a cardiology and an aesthetics skill. So she could actually do both of these skills. Of course, she cannot do both shifts because she can only work uh, at most eight hours or 10 hours a day, depending on her contract. So we'll need to adhere to that too. You can also see that each of these employees have times that they want to work, that they don't want to work and where they cannot work. So for example, Amy, Sh Amy King uh, wants to work on Saturday, doesn't want to work on Thursday. And over here, Chad King is not available to work on Monday simply because he took PTO and he's on vacation. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at our shifts again and let's start actually assigning these to these employees. Um, now our, our solver will now, uh, has not, will now generate possible solutions and it will improve that solution over time as it gets more and more time. Uh, in fact, right now it has an infeasible solution, but if we give it a little bit more time, we'll see that becomes a feasible solution. And you can see that because the hard constraints are now zero, which means that every person can do every uh, shift that they're assigned to. That means they have the right skill, that they don't have two shifts at the same time, that there's enough time between two shifts, 10 hours between two shifts, so they can actually go home, get some sleep and get back to work uh, in a decent and healthy state. And um, now we're actually trying to optimize the soft constraints. And the soft constraints in this case is to make sure when they want to work, we try to assign them to shifts, as well as the, the times that they don't want to work, we try to avoid that. If you can see the schedule we've got here right now, we can see that uh, we do have one undes undesired assignment, we do have a, but we do have far more desired assignments. So overall, it works out. Um, and this is the employee shift scheduling problem. But this is, of course, a simple example. In the real world, there are far more constraints. Uh, some of these are coming from labor laws, and some of these are coming from requests from the employees. And with uh, our solver, we can take all of those into account and deliver the best possible solution for your company as well as your employees. Once you have this perfect schedule and you publish it to your employees, a lot of things can happen before it actually gets executed. An employee can call in sick. Uh, you might need more shifts on a certain day than you would expect it. And so we need to be able to deal with changes in your plan. And we support that and you can find more about that in our documentation. If you want to automate and optimize your employee shift roster, take a look at our open source quick start or come talk to us.